welcome everybody to the University of California, San Diego. I'm Sarah Carrera. I'm the program director for the Combined Family Medicine and Psychiatry Residency Program here. We are a very unique program, as all programs are, and I think it's important in this time of COVID when we're not going to be sitting face to face to show you a lot of these pieces, which is unfortunate, but just the reality of our world, to be able to share with you the uniquenesses that are to our program that you won't find other places. And we work here at the University of California, San Diego, within two very different realms. One of them is the academic medical system, which is the larger UCSD between Hillcrest and La Jolla. But we also work out of a homeless shelter, which is St. Vincent de Paul Village. St. Vincent de Paul Village is very unique in that we treat people from very diverse backgrounds. And thus, our resident population has to mirror the, pa the population that we treat. And so we try very hard to recruit diversity within the applicants and, and the residents that we, that we have come to be with us. And we try to have our residency mission reflect the values of the village itself, which is the creed. And that's compassion, respect, empathy, empowerment, and dignity for all. I chose this program because I, I want to provide combined care for people who are experiencing homelessness. That's what I'd like to do in my career. Um, I also expected that this program would be particularly challenging because of the population we serve, but also because like all the combined programs in the five-year period, we're supposed to get training for both family medicine and psychiatry, so two specialties. Um, but I've been really surprised by the three things in particular. Um, the first is the, the missional focus of the staff in this clinic. Um, it's just really amazing. And the, the um, commitment to advocate for people who are on the streets and provide compassionate care. And that we're brought into that mission and challenged to live by that mission. The other thing that's been inspiring to me is the, the love that I've received from the, the people in the uh, clinic. Particularly like the medical assistants and the nursing staff. And then I've also been really inspired by the diversity of the patients that we serve. Um, for example, last week, my first patient was an ex-professional athlete. And the next one was a person receiving medication assistance for uh, opiate use with Suboxone. And then the next patient was a person who'd been living on the streets for 20 years, hadn't had a medical visit in over 15 years, and I was his first medical visit in over 15 years. Um, working with homeless patients is definitely very challenging, but also so rewarding because you are really the only person providing them with health care. And our patients come to our clinic and they have you know a whole laundry list of complaints which can sometimes be very difficult to work with but every day when they leave they leave with some sort of concrete plan for how to approach one of their problems and i think it feels it feels really amazing for us to be able to provide them with care that they otherwise would not receive Um, so I'm from Cameroon originally and I moved to the United States 15 years ago um, not speaking English and I had to learn English here um, and I had to deal with some other challenges including facing homelessness, being the first person in my family to go into medicine um, and so despite all of that um, I really pushed through because uh, medicine was my passion um, and I didn't let anybody t um, you know stop me or uh, discourage me from going into um, medicine and also applying to the combined program which is really competitive and so I would like to encourage um, all the applicants um, regardless of your background regardless of um, the things that you face um, those things make you unique um, and will allow you to really relate to the patients that we serve here um, and and bring you that sense of compassion um, uh, and uh, humility in the work that we do. Um, hi, my name is Alfred Hill. I suffered a brain injury, which um, 
To most people, you don't understand what happens when, if you get hit in the head enough. Um, you lose certain things, um, sight, smells, uh, your personality changes. Um, especially hard to diagnose because it's a uh, traumatic brain injury, something that they only truly can confirm uh, uh, that you have uh, upon death when they do a brain biopsy. Um, I found my way into homelessness because I couldn't care for myself and I found my way into drug addiction which um, left me unable to care for myself and I ended up on the streets downtown. When I first got here I was very I was, I was a very different person. I had um, emotional issues, I had substance abuse issues, and I had um, physical health issues. That's where I met Dr. Carrera, who basically saved my life. It's a very emotional thing for me um, because I didn't care about myself, and the people here cared about me when I couldn't care about myself. And so every time I think about what would be, where I would be without the Village Health Center, it's a very dark and lonely and scary place. Um, the doctors are professional, the nurses are professionals, but they are professionals with a the heart.